the Mayan, all the pyramids, not only Mayan pyramids, but they all had the same structure. And the reason that they had the same structure was because the bottom was meant to have a sturdy foundation to prevent any destruction in the future from earthquakes or large catastrophes that happened before. The top of all the pyramids come to a point which is in the Mayan calendar the end of time. The bottom series are what they call codexes and each layer is a period of time starting 1.6 billion years ago that ends at the top of the pyramid in 2010 which is the end of time. That's 2000 I mean 2012. 12, yeah. Starts in 2010, ends in 2012, mm -hmm. December 21st and then at the solstice of December 23rd. And the complexity of it and the mystery of it is the Mayans were able to locate and tell cycles of Venus, the Moon, the Earth, the Sun, but they were not able to use the wheel in their civilization, so that makes it a mystery in how they could develop a three-dimensional calendar that's more accurate than anything we have now, and yet they didn't really use the wheel, although they sacrificed many people with with non-wheel objects. With non -wheel <laughs> objects. So the mystery is is how were the Mayans able to develop a three-dimensional calendar, which we can't do today, and still be an indigenous people that were advanced in a lot of ways, but were still connected with their tribal activities and stuff. And one of the reasons is that they were able to see the sky in that hemisphere, that part of the world, a lot clearer. Like if you go to South America, you can see the planets, actually, because there's no light. There's no light pollution. And uh, so they were actually able to see Venus, but they were also able to calculate the movements of our solar system and where it will be precisely in the year 2012 which is a period that happens every 26,000 years and they that time period will be aligned with the center of our our galaxy which is a black hole that happens every 26,000 years